All right. <clears throat> Welcome to this video. Thanks for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. Welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness, the highest levels of love light. I just want to go into a little light language. So if you're not into light language, this video is not for you. <laughs> or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm just going to also go into a little flow. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. And um, when I go into flow, I just kind of go into this space where I just allow my higher self to kind of come through. Um, and what does that look like for me? Well, for me, it just feels lighter. And I kind of tune into different words and pictures and um, sounds. So I then express that in this um, medium, so to speak. Some of this is just meant to be felt, not necessarily understood on a linear basis. And as we open up our channels of communication, as we allow ourselves to communicate in different wave forms, as we allow the information to come through our own waveform, as we play with that, which, what it is, let me rephrase that. When we play with that, which is coming in, through these different wave forms, wave fronts, wave fonts, we then create a new signature, if you will, a new way of signing on, a new sign wave that then adds to the already uh, progressive waves that are applicable, that are uh, felt within the field. So a lot of what I'm sharing is a play on words, and I'm being guided to do a little hand movement as well, which moves the energies around and just shifts them a bit. As we create these different sounds, as we create these different tones, these different frequencies, we conduct, if you will, a rate of variability. I'm thinking heart rate of variability there. <laughs> we conduct a code, if you will. We create a code, if you will. Nishtur bahat ek ir hak ur bet ishtur bahar ak in ik ira. Shushtur o shukshut o ur mahat ik ira. This allows us to sign on, if you will. Shine on. I'm hearing shine on, you crazy diamond. Nishte kuya ya netish tuya makuya yetish de a kuya neti wa ya hai ya wa kuya neti wa. It allows us to communicate from a different platform. It allows us to spell. It allows us to reverberate the sounds. We invite you to join your own orchestra. 
We invite you to join in your own tunage, if you will. The opportunity to pour through your pores, to pour forth the sounds, the vowels that accompany the frequency that allows you to then dial in to a deeper layer, if you will, that allows you to dive in. All right, it's about to get weirder. Are you ready? <laughs> Feel free to join in. Make your own noises. It's all opening up the throat, not just the throat. The throat is an energy center that is a portal. Kyo. hold different connection points. They allow us to extrapolate, if you will. They allow us to communicate with one another. They allow us to pool together, to harmonize. They allow us to combine our frequency banks, our values, um, kuni wayati mokwa in the tea, um, in the kiamahi, wakuahini. They allow us to move through structure, if you will. I'm seeing that like move through structure, and I'm hearing kwa in the tea, wai, makwa in the ishte, wakwa in the hearing a lot. Tiki, akai, mokwa in the. You guys, I haven't warmed up yet. As I do this on my own, I'll go into much crazier, deeper sounds. And I'm also hearing it's like structured water. So what it's doing is it's allowing us to structure our own frequency in such a way that it literally pulls out of the throat different Ooh, I'm hearing remnants um, so much, but structured water. If you look at structured water, it has a spin that creates essentially, um, think of cymatics, right? If you don't know what that is, uh, look it up. I don't even know, so I'm going to pause for just a moment, make sure I'm spelling this right. I think it's C-Y-M-A-T-I-C-S, but I'm not positive. Kishtur. So it's sound made visible. So uh, we're seeing through our inner ear. The kushte pua initi makunehima. We then move through different frequency bands. We play in the band. Nekuya netishtur mahat ek ura. Ki ur hashtuk ura. Ti nak ur pahat eshtek enakar ak ura. Ik ur hat inishtek ura.
We harmonize our own instrument. We tune in to our own inner bank of knowledge, a pool of interconnectivity. I'm hearing inner pool, like inner pool, but inner pool. Our body then responds to the music that we are making. The muse, ik, the I see music in the making. A creation in itself. Plan words. It matters not if this vocabulary comes from the stars. It matters not if it comes from our ancestors. Um, I'm hearing it matters, <laughs> but it doesn't when we're in that flow, when we're in that state of being and we're coming from our heart. It comes from within us. Therefore, if it's coming from within us while we're in a space of grace, in a state of grace, in a state of exaltation, of this great exuberance and bliss and joy, it matters not for it is part of us. And from our intention, from our inner awareness coming out of the mouth, right? Um, it allows us to express memories. This may come in the form of geometric ooh, sound activations. For these are applications that tie into other applications. They allow our resonance to break through reasoning, if you will reason for science resonance it allows us to tune into the reason that we have science that we are part of the science oh i see this as a play on words i'm seeing a reference to psi like psyche psi science but i'm seeing it spelled p-s-i as in weight as in power as in wave hmm, font mechanics. And whenever I say font, I'm seeing this as, oh, there's lots of things coming through, but I see it as a type of writing. It's a type of font. It's a, it's a signature, right? It changes based on the mood, based on what we're sharing, based on what we're remembering, based on what we're tuning in and tapping into. And therefore, when we bring this through, it increases our capacity. So that's a play on words. I'm hearing capability of knowing our capacity. Our capacitors are then switched on. Our capacitors switch. And we then are heightening our switchboards, our conductivity, our ratio, our rate of speed, our heightened sensibility, our abilities and higher senses are then activated and brought in tune with another frequency that has been, um, I'm hearing, forgotten. And then we are able to find the tune that is within that allows us to break through the barriers of sound, plan words. A lot of times I'll write POW, play on words, because that's like, I could break this into so many different, break it down again. Da -na -na -na. I forgot those. These are my words. Okay. So essentially, we're able to fine tune and make these adjustments. So I'm being guided to share when I first started having these sounds come through, it changes. I had certain sounds that came through that were loud and deep. And because of the judgment, I'm hearing sound. Like, is it sound? Right? I don't know if that's very sound. That person might have lost their ability to be sound. You know, or psychologically sound, right? Physically sound, archaeologically 
architecturally sound. <laughs> Wrong archie there. But bukuya iti ki mewa eshti kuwa inia kuwa ha it inikiwa. We then begin to communicate beyond the realms of the ways that we have been taught to enunciate. We then begin to create through sound a new version, if you will, a higher number, a higher number of sound complexities, therefore a higher scale of geometric abilities, the higher scale to tune into the higher geometries, the higher force of compatibility. We are then able to compare and contrast and see a deeper contrast, a deeper view, a deeper As we blend this with our current, as we blend this with our current language, form of communication, application of dialect, we then allow ourselves to be in presence, with resonance, yet this is also a play on words, for we play with the directional arsenal of the vocabulary and the directory that we are now dialing up into, the ability to direct our intention, attention into a deeper space, a deeper Rolodex, if you will. And when I say Rolodex, I'm seeing the old school Rolodex where everybody kept a phone number in it and it went on a circle. But I'm seeing a Rolodex. Isn't that a ro I'm seeing a Rolex and I'm hearing Timex. So it's a, we tune into a different time. We're literally tuning into the future. We're tuning into the past. And we're allowing that charge to then reconnect. And we surpass the schematic that is kept us locked into one language barrier. But it is one language for the light that comes through our circuitry board that allows us to tap into and communicate and tune into, like, you know, a phone is one language. It's a one form of information that is coming through and presenting itself while we're present with ourselves in different dialects. But either way, it holds with it certain geometries that help us to activate one another. But more than that, it helps us to remember our ancestors. It helps us to realize our future. It helps us to work with all of our tools, all of our selves, our capabilities, our higher selves. I'm being called to though, then tune that all in and pull it through our one highest, bring us all into accordance with that, agreement with that, agreement with unification through the heart in this body, in this time suit, in this, we are accessing all of this. 
yet we're then creating in this reality in a higher bandwidth that allows us to create from a future present now. <laughs> and this allows us to help stabilize some of the current energies that are coming in, some of the current seas that have been, uh, I'm hearing application defects. <laughs> so some of the applications are kind of being called to play with this just for a moment, so I will. Okay, I'm laughing. Application, word forming element, expressing direction toward, or in addition to, to word, in space or time. So this has to do with our application. So I have to go back and write this up maybe. How many videos have I said that? In relation to. So etymology and origin, meaning of application. This is etym online. Word forming element, expressing direction toward or in addition to toward in space or time i didn't realize that was the etymology but there we go but i'm also being guided to share its application like a computer program it's an application we're applying it um yeah this allows us to reframe our direction, if you will. It allows us to regain our composure. It allows us to compose with the different applications. It allows us to transpose different applications. It allows us to change our compatibility. It allows us to reframe our network and access moving out of one um, space. I'm seeing a motherboard and I'm seeing we're unplugging from that and plugging into a bigger motherboard. This does not have to be in the form, if you will, of a word or language. For language is not necessarily formed with letters from an alphabet that is linear in concept. It is merely the ability to place into conceptualization, I'm seeing a vehicle, a con like um, immaculate conception. I'm seeing conception, a holding container, a space. It allows us to put into place a form of communication through dialect, which can also be in the form of sound, pictures, words, frequency. Yet in the human, we are being called to utilize our container to be able to express a multiple, a multiplicity, a multidimensional dialect. This can be through eye contact. And I've talked about this before. It can be through sharing eye contact. It can be through touch. It can be through movement with the hands. It can be um, it can be many different things. And not everyone has the same dialect. Not everyone has the same tools. Or better spoken, not everyone utilizes their tools in the same way. For we each convey our own perspective, our own abilities in our own unique way. Therefore, <laughs> I'm hearing there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. So when we express from our true heart, the Emerald City, 
we then are able to pull that up through, oh, I'm seeing so much, the canal of the throat. But I'm seeing this coming from root all the way up. It's not just about the heart. It's utilizing all energy centers. It's utilizing all tools in our toolbox. All tools on. Tur bahat ish tuk ur mek er hak ur. I was guided to look up the etymology of tool. Um, instrument, implement used, obviously. Implement is the key. Implement and um, instrument. Whew. Of course, that makes me think of the group tool and a lot of their music, which is amazing. Um, so prepare. Interesting. So prepare to manage skillfully, to work or shape with the tool. It's talking about how far back this goes. But it came from ta, to prepare, make ready, cultivate, other things as well. But I'm being shown it's not just about, it's about preparedness. And it's utilizing all of these instruments that we have, eyes, ears, hands, skin, sound, listening, voice, all of our instruments as one finely tuned instrument. And this brings it back, I just did a video about coming back into self-centeredness, higher self, centeredness in this body and i'm just being shown that something is about to the word that's coming through is catapult us into another realm so we must prepare ourselves use the instruments that we have available to us to then acclimate to the higher temperature the higher alchemy, the higher movement and trajectory, the incoming frequency that is then going to move us to a higher, I keep hearing that song. It's an old song. What is that? Some big hair band. Anyways, I'm going to end on this note for now. And I'm just going to kind of invite everybody to sit in, sit for a moment, just close your eyes and come back into the stillness of being in the space of the breath. Of being in the stillness of the body, the skin, the bones, feeling all of that in fluidity in this container, yet recognizing that this container actually connects with so much more than just this body. This body is an instrument, this body is a tool, this body is a conduit. It is a holding space, a cell, if you will, a living light, cellular conduction orchestra orchestration chamber that then ignites and provides fuel for our inner fire, P-H-I-R-E, that then allows us to stream our connectivity, our conduit, our higher intelligence through us in formation, in communication, in resonance with our fellow feel all our fellow has to do with vibration and frequency earthlings <laughs> and beyond 
Me ku e ao a het imi kimi wa at ishtu ku a hene. Mo ku a hae na ti titi ku stene ku maha oana. Let us stabilize our frequencies in the incoming shifts of awareness through our accordance with the heart, through our own inner resilience, our own inner vocabulary. Let us speak from this inner source and wellspring. Let us move with this intention and purpose in mind, in heart, in body, as the embodiment of the higher connectivity, the higher connection to the source stream frequency that we are sourced from, as is. And so it is. Thank you.